Behold my creation. I'm oh, sorry. Hold on a second. Let's just change it to normal speed. You know, I love speeding things up. Because I love this music from Wonder Boy and Monster World. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the name. Anyway, game. Murderous. Fire. He's being a normal human being, but he loves fire so much, he's become both fire and a clown. With lots of teeth and bowler hat, mustache, and a clown nose. And two different colorful eyes purple and green, and yellow. Orange and ten round stripes. The only way to get stop this fire is the fire. Oh yeah, don't forget about this bow tie. I color leave the pause again. The um, blue or green. Dark red, white, black, and mouse color. I guess it's music again. It took a long time to do this fire, but I finally got it done with. Plus, I did like usual purple background for his catch all team. That he would trap anyone inside his web. He do a little entertainment before he soaks up their blood. Creepy and make it look realistic, but I'm like, eh, that'll take too long. So instead, I did it like this a big, nasty spire with lots of teeth, pink tongue, and you know, like no spire you had never seen before. Well, besides every spire that looks almost identical, but one of the clown knows. Because spires don't have noses. One, one huge spire. And that weighs like over maybe. They say maybe. On how big and huge she is. It'd be 803.01 pounds. On how gigantic he is. I don't usually do freaky spiders. Oh, besides Harry, Rary, and Howard from the Tumbling Queen series. I think in Dane, Murderous Spider would be a perfect option for this one. Just give it a gigantic spider. I have a lone hero name. Well, I'll call him Lance. And try to escape a giant spider. There. There, that's huge and nasty looking. Bright. Big yellow teeth. Don't be this freaky geeky. Since he likes to eat bugs all the time, why not people too? Like most. Those oversized rock attacks would be almost impossible to beat. And these all stripe in. Moves very fast since the guy, well, obviously, eight legs. Since he's an eight leg freak of nature. I mean, those of you who like spires or not, this one is not as super creepy or scarier looking than realistic spiders are, but still freaky looking. I was thinking, eh, why not give him like a clown nose and mustache all curled up? I like that. Make it look like he's silly, but still. 
terrifying of those things, all the appetite from its mouth, well, arm handles, but still move very fast and right where spires do. But I'm not done yet, I'm just getting started. Play this music one more time. Say hello to Johnny. Just hold on a second. This is Johnny, the mayor of Redville that it was, used to be famous until Kyokyo Kazami ruined everything. The reason why his eyes are red is that in the future he becomes like a robotic cyborg. Seek his revenge to get rid of the boy once and for all, since the child is more famous when he was gone from his vacation trip up toward Florida or for years at the escape from Redville for a long time and like most mayors are being cruel and viciously evil and was starting to get tired of it all Last time he fought Kirbyokyo, Kazami was on a train and knocked him inside a, a, like a tower smoking pipe. Probably burned him to death, but somehow someone brought him back. I can worst way possible to seek his revenge to get rid of the boy once and for all. Also, these ones are not quite finished yet. Sir. There's a sneak peek to show you this one, that he'll be like a skeleton with skin muscles and everything. That one, I haven't named what kind of creature that is yet. But I only showing you like 7 minutes of these ones. A spider and the evil mayor that sees his revenge on one pink-haired child. Also got uh, the play of different music. Just give me a second. Really, really nice. the, uh, the Sky blue hairdo because that makes him more menacingly evil. In glasses, his no suit. He used to wear purple. I was thinking dark blue and into his hat and gray boat tie. What make him the most menacing? villain of all time. I think his hair used to be right for sky blue color. Evil mastermind genius. Before he entered his own doom, he did uh, he like the um, opposite of Oh, you know, Mr. Trump. He's like almost the worst male of all time. I would just throw everything in his hand. I would say you would be like similar to the mayor from I don't know, the Meatballs next to almost like Gaston from Beauty and the Beast or like Prince Charming from Shrek. Or that other villain. Like Kendam Hook. I'm gonna rule everything upon this hand. Take care of one child. This one makes Johnny the mayor. Now we are just a sweet bull mayor of all time. Just to get all the attention he ever needs from his people. And the way he is is questionable. I like he's despicably evil. One heartless mean monster. He's kind of like that one bad guy from Pocahontas. Right left. I just want to have the entire land all to himself. You know, him being super rich compared to others besides himself. 
Yeah. It sounds awesome. Okay. Round well, wait long winches man and the ever live of his own business he would usually have his henchmen do all the dirty work for him but he doesn't do it he does do it for himself of him being a mean selfish wicked mayor of all time and that's all I can say about him I used to be like Rick or or sky of dark or blue eyes. You would even team up with Daniel, who also wants to get rid of the child as well for ruining his life. They would make a pretty good teamwork of being most despicable fiends of all time. In the most horrible time of bad guy of all history. And that's all I can say about him. I'll just write this up. I'm not quite done with the other artworks yet, so I'll let you guys know when I'm finished with them. Thank you all for watching.